What up? My name is Lena, and I want you to check out this exclusive behind-the-scenes look of my new show, 20s. Susan Fells Hill is a reason why I am a, I'm a television writer. She's one of those people where you may not know the name, but you have been so impacted by her work. For me, I'm a person that really respects those that come before me, and I, I'm very aware that I am standing where I am because of them. And she's one of those people. She was this young showrunner on a different world. She really worked with Debbie Allen to make a different world what it is. I just got a chance to meet my one of my heroes. And I just said, I was like, look, man, if 20s ever gets made, it'd be dope if you show ran it. And she was like, um, okay, yeah, maybe, let me know. One of the things that drew me to writing for this show was the fact that it was not about women trying to get a date on a Saturday night. As a professional woman, as the mother of a daughter, women are about more than that. And these women lead with their dreams. And it's very much a show about women trying to fulfill their dreams in a city that is the factory of dreams. And what does that look like? So one of the big arcs is, frankly, Marie's career. She's a very driven young woman who's working as a studio executive. And and that's an environment that's still, the C-suite is 99% white and male. So what does that trajectory look like and what is she up against? And then strangling behind a giant telescope with his jump starter cable. I was uh... digging your own grave one person a phone call at a time. The main character is Hattie. Spoiler alert, she's queer. <laughs> and she is an aspiring writer and showrunner. She's kind of an avatar for Lena. Some of her experiences are really mirrors of Lena's experience early in the in the business. It's my girl Gabrielle Graham Hello. right here, doing it big all day, every day. You know how we do, it's nothing. You feel me? And then we have Mia, who is our like breath of fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> She's the person you want to go to when you need encouragement and you need somebody to tell you, like, you can do it. Your dreams are right there at your at your feet. But she doesn't really necessarily believe that about herself. Mm -hmm. So she's kind of in a state of transformation where she's looking at her life and her choices to become a yoga instructor and to sort of live this life when her real dreams were always toward being an actress. And so she's trying to figure out, like, how to uh, manifest the dreams for herself. Um, that she's always telling other people how to manifest her dreams. So she's gotta take her own advice. And action. Namaste. Namaste. And Nia, importantly, is West Indian. As, oh, yeah. as somebody who's half West Indian, I'm proud to finally represent the diaspora on screen because that comes with its own She's the character who curses the least. You know, she's from a family where everyone has 12 advanced degrees, and she's, as the yoga instructor, the black sheep. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to explore what those cultural differences are within our community. Let's get to the real. Keep it 100. We have some good guest stars. First up was Big Sean, who is phenomenal. He's so natural. You would think he's been doing this his whole life. This is his debut. Iman Shumper, who people, you know, know is, Something, I feel like fewer people know him now as a guy who's like a phenomenal basketball player and know him as, you know, Tiana Taylor's other half. But he really is charismatic. He's so charming and he's smooth. We had a phenomenal time with him. Vanessa Williams and Rick Fox are reunited. They play Chuck's parents perfectly. And we got Kim Whitley. She just is so funny. And she has some real grounded moments in this season. You know, she's someone I just love putting into things because she just feels like a real black woman that I know that I came up with that was around me, grabbed me by the collar when I was like talking too much shit. Seth Green did us a huge solid by coming in and playing the acting teacher. He's so funny. All right, back to one. Back to one, everybody. Here we go again right away. Still rolling. Still rolling.